In the last tutorial, we set up tags and use them to activate abilities. Now that we have abilities set up, we can proceed with our collision so that we are able to do damage or whatever else we want to do when we hit with an ability. Let's make a new C++ class and find the anim notify state. I'm going to name it collision notify state. We want to override two functions, notify begins and notify end. Make sure you override the correct ones. Next, we are going to need an actor that we will use for our collisions. In my notify, I want to have a reference to that actor. In notify begin, we are first going to check if our mesh comp is valid so that we can use it to access our character. Then, we want to check for authority, as we only want to trigger this on the server. We need some gameplay effects to apply to whatever we hit. A gameplay effect could be a debuff, damage effect, or whatever else we want. If we have some effect class, we, then we can proceed. We want to spawn the collision actor and give it all the effects for it to apply it to our target. But we don't want to be spawning our actor from the notify class. Instead, we are going to use our combat component to take care of that. Spawn and activate collision is pretty self-explanatory in what it does. It will also need to take in the effect classes that we want to apply. Let's get the owner, check for authority, and make sure we have some effects to apply. We are going to use spawn actor differ for this as we want to be able to configure some properties on the actor before it's fully spawned into the level. We need an actor class to spawn. Next we need a transform so let's make one. Owner and instigator can be our character and the spawn properties is going to be uh, always spawn. Now that we have an actor, we can set a few properties on it before it's fully uh, spawned on, into the level. Then we can call finish spawning to finally spawn it into the level. I will make a function on the actor for it to initialize its own properties. Let's go back to our notify and call spawn and activate. I need access to the combat component, so I'm gonna make a getter on it, uh, on my base character.
In notify end, I want to destroy the actor that we created so that it doesn't collide when we don't want it to. Now let's initialize our collision actor. Here I'm adding a sphere and a box component, but you can add more components if you want, or uh, more shapes when doing your collision trace. Add get lifetime function to replicate our components. In initialize, I'm going to only uh, initialize the uh, sphere component for now. Later, we will work on more ways to uh, make this more versatile and use our other components too. But I'm just going to use the sphere for now as it's enough for our testing. We set a few properties on the sphere component. Now, when our sphere overlaps with uh, something, we need a function to call. This is the signature for it. Now we can bind to that function. For now, I'm just going to make sure I'm not hitting myself or anything on my character, like my weapons. Otherwise, we can print uh, what we hit. I'm going to override the uh, end play function, which is like the begin play function, but this one will trigger when our actor is uh, being destroyed. I want to disable the collision and remove the dynamic binding. So as a recap, we have a notify that triggers in our animation and it will create a uh, collision actor at our wep weapon location or in this case my left shoulder location and give it all the effects that we want to apply when we hit something. Our combat component is in charge of spawning uh, our actor 
once the actor is spawned, we initialize it, then attach it to where we want, or now the left shoulder, and finish spawning it. The actor is going to be initialized with these properties and bind to uh, an overlap function that we made. Let's compile and test all of this. First, let's make sure that we set the collision actor class in our combat component so that it can spawn it. We are just going to use the C++ class directly here. No need to make a blueprint uh, of it. I just noticed that my abilities are named PP. They should have the prefix GA instead for uh, gameplay ability. In my uh, tackle ability, I'm going to find its animation. Now let's add our custom notify state. Here is where we set our effects, but for now we don't have any, so I'm just going to use the default class for now. We just need to have something in there because we do check if our array is empty, otherwise we won't be able to run it. Now let's set where the collision window should happen. Let's test this out. Nothing is happening, uh, let's check when we are on the server. Still nothing, okay, let's figure out why. The warning is giving me a clue as to why it's not working. I did forget to set uh, the left shoulder socket on my character. It doesn't know where to spawn the collision actor right now. Let me add that circuit. I also noticed that I made a mistake here. It's checking if effect class is not empty instead of if it's empty. Just remove the uh, exclamation mark and that should fix it. Let's compile again. It's working. We made the collision sphere visible just for testing of course. Now if you test this on the client, the collision is working, but we don't see the sphere. That's because we only uh, set the properties to make it visible on the server. Let's make it visible on the client too. I'm going to add a new multicast function for this. There are better ways of doing this, but it's just for testing right now. Has local net owner. It's just there to make sure that the sphere is only visible on the local client. Let's 
Let's test it. And it's working. Now I do find it hard to aim at uh, our enemy. I want to make this easier for me. Let's go to our gameplay ability and uh, fix this. Here I'm going to add a new function and a boolean. All this line does is check if B should use control of rotation yaw is set to true or false and it's going to call the function use control of rotation yaw and set the value accordingly. Now we set this in our ability. Now my character will rotate and use the ability in the direction that I'm facing. This makes it easier for me to aim. Everything is working. Now we don't have any effect yet, like causing damage or an impact effect. We could also make our camera shake and all that to make the collision more impactful. We are going to take care of all of that in the upcoming tutorials. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Join the Discord if you have any questions and see you in the next one.